Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I am going to arrange for you, live on camera, Pink Floyd's Another Brick and the Wall, including the solo. I'm going to show you how I take the electric solo and I turn it into an acoustic solo with fingerstyle. I'm going to show you my whole process, okay, for two reasons. One, you asked me to, okay, and two, I want you to see exactly what skills you're going to acquire in the upcoming Fingerstyle Arrangement Academy, okay? Lickandref.com slash academy, okay? Sign up, the class begins April 11th, okay? There's just a handful of spots left, okay? And I'm so, I'm super excited, I can't wait. Um, I'm gonna teach you all my arrangement skills and we're gonna work on your songs and we're going to arrange together and I'm gonna give you my entire arrangement toolbox, okay? So this lesson is a glimpse at what you're going to learn to do and be able to do in the Fingerstyle Arrangement Academy. Okay, so hurry up and sign up and grab your spot, okay, grab your place. Starts in a week, okay, April 11th. So, another brick in the wall. Now, D minor. Okay. This is not the melody. Okay, it's more. Okay, it's... And for this reason, I prefer this version of the bar. Okay, right away, I could hear that this, okay, would not fit. Okay, usually when we play this D minor, okay, it sounds nice. Okay, zero one on the first ring and zero, uh, zero two on the third. It's nice. It's not really the melody. Okay, you want the whole chord as a block. Now, if you want an interesting uh, variation, you can play one three on the second string. And then it just stands out. So you have to bar the second fret, the, the second uh, the second string as well. Okay, but again, I prefer the basic version. It's the best. Now I know that I'm playing it kind of Doobie Brothers, but this is my arrangement, so I'm just having fun with it. I'm just playing the D minor chord, okay, A minor shape on five, okay, and I'm just playing it, I'm letting go of the chord, playing the bar, and then putting it back on, strings two, three, and four, uh, through three, and four. And then, we don't need no education. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. It's inside the chord, it's seven on the third string. Okay, and then uh, five, six, five on the second string. And it comes around twice. Okay, so it's. And you can keep the sus2 going. then play the riff just using strings three and four. And then you have a G, right? Hey, teachers, leave those kids alone. So I think it's G, I think it's G. So, oh, I prefer this. I think it's, it's better with one and three. 
and then it's na 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 na. Okay, so it's five, three, and one with a hammer on there to three. So I'm gonna need the thumb. So. And then it's back to D minor. So you can, I, I can mute. So it's, okay, this is the basic version. Okay, now I'm gonna complicate a little bit. So. Okay, so you have. Okay, you can use the notes from the chord to harmonize. So you can use the lower string. Okay, and take the chord off instead of just one note. Okay, I'm gonna teach you all this, all these methods in the Finger Style Arrangement Academy. Okay, so. Now you can also hammer on. Okay, you can do it. You can turn it into a motif. Okay, hammer on one to three because okay we did the hammer on on the second line. So so um. Let's see if we can harmonize this. We can add three on the second string if you want. Okay? And then hmm, you can go to five and harmonize with six from the D minor chord. So hmm, Okay, so you can do five six, and then three five, and then it's third harmonies. Okay, I made a lesson on this years ago, how to solo with third harmonies. Okay, so okay, and then the motif. So meh. it's a okay, with three on the second string. So it's a little bit inconvenient. So. Okay, we can do one and three, slide back to five and to three and five. Okay, so it's and then you have. That's the melody. So maybe it's. Hey, but I think I think the guitar is going higher there, right? So if it's if it's C, so it's C, okay. So it's. Nah, this is not the original line. Okay, so. No, so it's the higher strength. I think it's this. Okay, I was playing C, G, and F. I searched for the melody. I started with D minor. But it didn't really strike me as the melody. Um, okay, why did I go for F? I went for F because I heard a strong chord. Okay, uh, all in all, we're just another brick in the wall. I heard a strong chord there, but we already used G. So I know that it's not G. So I tried C and it still wasn't it. 
Okay, I tried. But it's still not the chord. Okay? So F struck me as the right chord. But the, the, the chord progression didn't strike me as the right chord progression. So I went for C right away instead of playing D minor again. I played D minor. But that's not the chord progression. So I tried something different. I tried starting from C. And then it sounded better. But there's no C major 7 there. There's no... Okay, this is... This is C major 7. It sounded off. It sounded weird. So... So I tried G. Okay, and it worked. It was the right chord. So we have two options. We can stick to the original, okay, which is, sorry, well, okay, which is the high notes of the C chord, okay, 8, 8, and 9, 8, 8, and 9, and then G and F, D shapes, okay, on 7 and 5. Okay, so you can, you can do it. Okay, so, um, okay, but we're losing the bass notes. We don't have the bass notes. We don't have the bass notes, so we need to lower it. And then we go back to what I did at the, at the beginning. So it's C, just the second string, and then the second string open, and then G, and then two on the third string leading me into F, okay? The fourth on three is the next note, so it's the whole chord, okay? So... The, the rhythm, just a sec. Okay? You can also open it G to F. Okay, and then you have all in all, we're just another brick in the wall. So. Is that a note? All in all. All in all. All in all. No, it's the. Okay, oh, so it's in the bass notes. The bass notes are the melody. So let's see what we can do about this. Okay, now that I know the notes, and I know that it's the... Okay, my thought process was this. F. Okay, it's, it's an F note. It's the... And then you have... Okay, so I tried C because this is the... This two on the fourth, C has it. Okay, in the chord, it has it. And then it sounded right. And then, okay, the open D string, and then the C bass. And then you go back to D, to D minor. So you can try the same thing, an octave up. So it's, okay, one, one, one on the first string. This is F. And then, okay, you have C, and it's the open E string, and then back to D minor, so it's, okay, so it's um, 3, 1, 3 on the second string. So it's a lot simpler than playing the bass. Now, if you want, you can play the bass. And then you can play the 
high version. Okay. So here you have it. Now you can also you can also manipulate this a little bit. Nah, not not so much. It's all it's all in the chords. And for this line, it's all in the chords. So uh, the solo. Uh, uh, sorry, what? Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Now, I'm just exploring the options. Now, this is in the pentatonic shape. So, okay, so you can just leave it here. Because you have the D bass. But where's the fun in that? We want to arrange it. So, okay, the dog, uh, <laughs> the dog uh, was hungry, so he, uh, he wanted to go. Um, okay, so this is 13, okay, this is 13, 13 is above 12, okay, naturally, and 13 is above the octave of the string, so it means that an octave down would be 1, so I can start there, okay, so I can just search for the same sounds. Okay, so Okay, so because it's pentatonic, it's it's a little bit easier than, you know, full minor major scales. So we're still in D minor. So it's Okay, so that's how I would arrange it. Okay, so it's it's one on the second string, and then two zero two on the uh, on the third, and then three on the second. Okay, so okay, smoother, just more hammer-ons and pull-off. Okay, so it's it's okay that super bend. So. Okay, so I'm starting with one and two on the second and third strings. The D bass keeps going. And I'm adding three on the second. And then I tried five and five on strings two and three. Now, it worked, okay, because, okay, it's a part of the scale. So, it sounds weird. Because it sounds like A minor for a second, but I like it. I like this sound. So, so you can do five and four. Okay? And I'm sliding back. Uh, no. And again, it's one on the second string, two, zero, two on the third. So, so far we had. Let's find it. One zero on the second string. Ah. So now that we found the position, everything is in there. So it's one and zero, and then two on the third open second. And then hammer on to two on the third. And then three on the second, two on the third, one on the second. Okay, so it's. And then you can just. Uh, 
then you can just uh, play around with what we already have. So what we already have is this. Okay, or, or five and five. Okay, and I keep playing the one and two on strings two and three. Okay, so it's like. Uh, Okay. And then you have uh, something like this. So you can do. can play around with the D minor. Okay, one, three on the second string, and then hammer on, pull off, zero, one, zero on the first string. And it's just, it just has to maintain the original feel, this line. So, okay, so I'm pulling off three, two, one on the second, uh, and then playing the third string on two. And then I'm doing the same thing, but pulling off one to zero, Okay, I'm not looking at tabs. This is doggy treats. This is the doggy treats. Okay, the dog wants a treat. This dog wants a treat as well. Okay, so um, let's just give them a treat. Ah, hard treat. Okay, here you go. Um, so, what? You don't want? Yeah, I'll put it here. Uh, okay, so would you mind chewing away from the microphone? All right, so, um, and then you have this. I forgot it. You see what, what you did with your dog treats? to maintain this. Okay, so it's da 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 da. So it's one three three one on the second and then one on the first. So it's so now I can have the full line. to the chorus or the whole solo let's see if I remember it can't play it here. You can, but I suggest you start it here. Okay, so... And then you can just improvise. so forth so um 
join me in the Lick and Riff Fingerstyle Arrangement Academy and you'll know how to do just this. I'm going to give you all the tools, my entire perspective on the fretboard, all my tools, all my hacks, all my shortcuts, all my methods, everything. Everything's everything. All my techniques, everything. Everything's that I know except for grammar. Okay? I'm going to give you and I'm going to teach you and we're going to have fun. Six meetings over the next three months. I'm going to teach you how to arrange your own arrangements. Join me. Grab your seat. Okay, there are only a handful left in the first class. Lickandref.com slash academy. Enjoy. I will see you there. Bye for now.